Museum London's current home at the Forks of the Thames River in downtown London, Ontario, was designed in 1980 by architect Raymond Moriyama. Museum London is described as Southwestern Ontario's leading establishment for the collection and presentation of visual art and material culture. The gallery is divided into three floors. At the main level, visitors are greeted by an expansive three-story foyer with an open staircase to one side and a glass wall along another side looking down onto an exhibition space. Right upon entering, visitors are given the clear choice of which area they wish to explore first, thanks to the flow created by the open concept main level. The lower level uses small lights strategically placed to reflect off the white walls and onto the displays. The museum uses tall spaces, divided by shorter walls, to allow for separation between exhibits while maintaining feeling of openness overall. The upper level of the museum is separated into three large vaulted spaces. The long, tall spaces allow for multiple separate exhibitions to be set up while not feeling too tight. The Denver Art Museum's Frederick C. Hamilton building takes a much different design approach to creating an exhibition space. Daniel Liebskind, well known for his jagged and crystal-like designs, was commissioned in 2000 to design this expansion to the museum. The Hamilton building's design claims to recall the peaks of the Rocky Mountains and geometric rock crystals found in the foothills near Denver. The building is covered in 9,000 titanium panels that reflect the Colorado sunshine. The museum's design seems to struggle in a fight between form and function. While Liebskind was requested to leave some traditional exhibition space in his design, the majority of the building's slanted walls and asymmetrical spaces make it difficult, if not impossible, to display or enjoy many types of art. With so many angled corners and walls, slits of tiny windows in some areas, and the opposite in others, the museum seems to struggle with regard to function. Although the building is quite the sight, the tortured geometries within the space comes off as confusing and complex, and just creates a maze of slanted walls and tapering spaces.